What do I believe in and why do I do the things I do? I don't believe in a whole lot. You know, I, I believe that uh, there's so much in the world that's unknowable. You, there's there's a lot of things that are, you know, we don't know and we can't know. But some simple things I do believe in is that we all want to feel better. You know, we all want to feel good about ourselves. And that's why I do most of the things I do, honestly, to feel good, to feel good about myself. I believe that most of our problems are caused by selfishness. I think that's like the greatest evil in the world. I think that people who commit the most evil are like the most selfish. You know, they do the things that they do in order to please themselves at whatever cost. It may be that I believe that the the greatest source of evil in the world is selfishness. And why I do the things I do is to feel good about myself. For in my life, I didn't grow up like any kind of fitness or nutrition health type of aspect. There was none of that in my life. I didn't even learn discipline. You know, as a child, I learned fear and obedience, you know. And when there's nobody to fear, once you're grown, there's nobody to fear. It's like now you have to learn, you know. Um, I didn't learn discipline. I didn't have that. I didn't perform well. I didn't grow up in sports. I didn't perform well academically. You know, I, I consider myself mildly intelligent, but I didn't perform well academically. There was no reason for me to. Do, there was no incentive. So um, it didn't make me feel good. There was nothing there to, you know, to push me forward in that. But so today, the things that I do are mostly to make me feel good, you know, because um, for most of my life, I was trying to change the way I felt, be that drugs, alcohol, relationships, um, you know, all of these things that we use to try to make ourselves feel something or feel differently or to not feel something. I chased those things, very simple things. And it, it was mostly very selfish and it would never last, you know, and there was downsides to all these things. You know, I would drink myself into oblivion, you know, get sick, uh, lose things, lost, just lost so many things. Over and over again, losing things. You know, I lost people. I lost my driver's license. Barely got that back. I lost jobs. I lost relationships. At one point, I basically lost my child, you know. Um, and I did not like the feeling of being a loser. It fucking sucked. So, um, I learned to, I learned to, uh, to moderate or to avoid certain things. To a degree, to the degree that it made me feel worse. Um, but this last year, I've learned how to make myself feel good without any downsides, without the drawbacks. You know, it, I've learned how to make myself feel useful. I've learned how to make myself gain a positive mental attitude. Um, you know, and... I want to share those things with people because I didn't have that, you know, most of my life. I'm 30 years old now. I'm barely learning these things, you know, uh, 29 years old, 28, 29 years old. I'm barely learning. I just learned how to moderate and to not destroy myself and to not lose everything. Now I'm learning how to gain, you know, now I'm learning how to build myself, build, you know, positive things in my life. And so that's what I want to share. You know, um, it feels good to be in shape. It feels good to feel light. It feels good to feel strong, you know, and there's no downsides to that, you know. Um, and so that's what I believe in. And that's why I do the things that I do. You know, I believe that um, selflessly things work out better when we care about each other and we do things for each other. It generally works out for our own benefit. You know, I've experienced that in my life. You know, it's people can sense our intentions. It's a mistake to think that people generally are stupid. People generally are not stupid. You know, um, every creature has its place in the universe and we are given this big fat brain in order to think and to move. 
You know, um, people are not generally stupid. People generally don't feel good, though. People are generally scared. And, um, you know, they're generally fearful. I don't think people are generally stupid. You know, we live in this society now that uh, we like to think that way. We like to think that people who are different than us or think differently than us, that they're just stupid. They're operating over in their own intentions, with their own motives. We don't all have the same motives or intentions, so we don't have all have the same perspective. So people are not just stupid like me for most of my life. I just didn't know shit. I was ignorant. You know, I was ignorant and trying to do the best I could. And I think that's how people are. Everybody's trying to do the best they can with what they know. Unfortunately, we don't know it all. We don't know a whole lot. And so that's why, you know, I'm doing this social media. That's why I'm doing this coaching. Because these things I've learned in this last year have changed my life. I don't need to make myself... I don't need to alter my consciousness to make myself feel better. I know how to do these things. You know, I lost 35 pounds. I'm stronger than I've ever been. Um, and uh, it's just huge. It's, it's, just, it's just a game changer. It's a life changer. You know, I don't have to destroy myself or I don't have to try to make myself feel good with negative drawbacks anymore. So that's why I do what I do here, and that's pretty much what I believe in. I believe in, uh, you know, not to sound cheesy or corny, but I do believe in helping people, you know. And, um, you know, this shit changed my life, and what it's worth to me is my life, the life that I live now. And, uh, you know, what's the price? What's, what was the price of... Uh, my driver's license, you know, basically like 1500 bucks. What, what was the price of, you know, what was the price of watching loved ones die? You know, what is that worth? Fuck, you know, it's infinite, you know? So, uh, you know, if I can find people that kind of like me and show them what I've learned and, and share this with them, I mean that that would just be it would it would just be huge. It'd be extremely valuable. So um you know, it's not necessarily about the workouts. It's not about the diet. It's not about the looks or the body, but those things do matter because how would they make you feel? I feel great, you know, not you know, having lost 35 pounds, not being overweight, I feel great about that. Being stronger than I've ever been going, you know, picking up heavy objects and saying, oh, wow, this is way lighter than last time or last month. That feels great, you know, and um, there's no hangover. There's very little price to pay for it, you know. I mean, actually, dude, the way I live now, like my diet and everything is way, way more cost effective than the way I shit that I used to eat and the things I used to spend my money on. And that feels great too, having that money in my pocket. You know? You know, not not worrying about this payment or that payment and like, you know, paying shit off. That feels pretty great. So really, I just wanted to hit those points, man. Like, what do I believe in and why do I do the things I do? I believe most of our problems are caused by selfishness and... I do most of what I do to make myself feel better. And if that can benefit others, that's even better because that makes me feel good too. You know, that makes me feel even better than, you know, it feels great. When I was losing that weight, you know, I, I would hop up out of bed and I'd be like, damn, I feel light. You know, I go to the gym now and I'm like, damn, I feel strong, you know. And I'm not like peak performance or anything like that. But um, I'm way better than I used to be in every area. And that feels great. And that's why I do what I do. You know, like I said, I don't believe in a whole lot of things. I believe these, these big mysteries in life. Why are we here? Where do we come from? Where are we going? 
I think it's unknowable. You know, we'll find out when the time is, when it's the time to find out. And the people that claim to know, I think they're full of shit. You know, I, I do believe in a higher power. I believe in creator. I believe that uh, I should live my life like I believe in these things. You know, so what if it ain't real? So what if it ain't real? What have I lost? You know, what if it is real? And what would I lose? You know, so I don't try to be like righteous or holier than thou or anything like that. But I just try to live my life with respect for the life that I do have. Because I don't know where it came from. I don't know why I have it. And I don't know where it's going. So best just respect it while it's in my possession. Because one day I've, I've witnessed it. We're all going to die. So I'm going to have to give this thing back. And I might have to give an account for it. And if I have to account for it, then it'll be like, well, what'd you do? <laughs> Thanks, bro. But um, yeah, man. So love you guys. And uh, that's kind of what I believe. That's kind of why I do what I do. Um, more on that later. Love and respect. Thank you.